最宽的肩膀，扛得住誓言不改变。哦、当强烈的信念让命运都无言，浪漫成了特权，狂喜狂。我的壮烈是无悔的经典。哦，不要想答案。You see, Tian Yu, the Chang family and the Zhou family have been involved in a bitter feud that lasted years. Your grandpa took this feud to heart, so he was so dead set against their relationship. Then we heard the young man married someone else. After leaving your aunt, your aunt couldn't accept it. She and your grandpa became estranged. Afterwards, your aunt made a tough decision. She drank the farewell tea, and left the family. But where did she go after that? She worked at a newspaper office for some time. And during those years, your grandpa would read the articles she wrote on their paper, especially during holidays and festivals. And then much later, we heard she became involved with a man in their office. Afterwards, they went away together. We never heard from her since then. Then a few years later, an accident happened. In some place called Wei Jiaping, out in the countryside, your aunt was among those who died. Your grandpa was so devastated. And ever since that tragedy, the Chang family has not said a word about your aunt. Your grandpa wouldn't allow it. But what was the reason they went away? That I'm not sure of. Was there anybody who saw my aunt off before she and that man left? I don't think so. That's very strange. What is strange about it? Nothing. I feel sorry for Aunt. She's had a hard life. Tianyu San, I know how close you were with your aunt. But this subject is off limits to the family. Besides, your grandpa is in poor health. I'm begging you, son. Please don't mention this subject again. I beg you. Don't worry. I won't, Nana. Good to know. Life in this world is so unpredictable. You don't know what to expect. Um. Nana, hmm? these flowers are very nice. Oh, uh, uh, those pretty flowers were a gift to me. That girl I've mentioned brought them. <laughs> Tianyu, let me know when you come next time. I'll arrange for you to meet her, okay? She's a nice girl. You will like her, okay? Sure. Tenjur, I need a favor. Go and find out if my aunt ever had a child. Thanks.
The day before Xiao Zhou left, it was drizzling in Wei Jiaping. At that time, it never occurred to me that after that rainy day, when a rainbow appeared over the Clearwater River, would come the day of our parting. Zhang Xiang, do you think that sometimes the better another person treats you, the more guilty you feel? Mm hmm. That's how I feel now. The better Bei Xiao Wu treats me, the weight in my heart becomes heavier. That's why it's time for me to leave. I think if my mother didn't leave me when I was six, I would have long straight hair and slender graceful looking hands. I would lower my head from shyness. Whenever I see the boy I like, just like the way you do. Xiaojo, I'm sure the boy you like would also like you the way you are. That's impossible. Who would like me? Who would be able to accept my past? But you said it yourself. It's already your past. Nothing can change it, so let it be. Zhang Xiang. This is why I really like you. You can be so naive. Sometimes you're so silly and stubborn. I think you and I are the same. We've had similar experiences. We've suffered... almost the same kind of misery. Because... your dad left you and your mom, while my mom left me and my dad. Didn't you say... that your mother died? When you were six years old? <sighs> you silly girl. He'd believe anything I say. <sighs> Actually, my mother ran away with a married man. When I grew up, I looked for her so I could ask her, Why did you leave me back then? I couldn't believe the answer my mother gave me. She said she loved that man. She also said she knew he was married, had a family, but she still loved him more than anything. She never cared at all about our feelings and simply walked away from me. That's why all these years of pain welled up inside of me. I swore to myself, I'd give back to that woman. That's what she deserves. You shouldn't now that she's met Bei Wu. Brother, just in case I get hurt one day, are you going to be there for me? Like Bei Wu is always there for Xiao Zhou? No, of course not. What? Because in the first place, I'd never let anyone hurt you. Bei Xiaowu has been so good to you. Are you still leaving? No, I won't leave. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> mm, all right. If that's the case, I'll tell you all the funny things he did when we were kids so you'll know him better. You like that? Sure. Actually, come to think of it, I 
I've already told you so many things about our friend. What else is there to tell? I've told you everything about him. You know his life. Am I great or what? Huh? Yes, you are. <laughs> so you're not leaving? You're not leaving? Not. You're not leaving? <laughs> <laughs> Shaojo! 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 Why doesn't you want to see me? Maybe we can all just come back later? You can go. I'm not going anywhere. I'll wait for her here. Junyo, if you ask me, you're still new to the company. You need time to adjust. Don't you think you're rushing into this? Uncle Su, I know your concern. That's why I thought I'd pay you a visit, so I could ask for your advice. <laughs> Is that so? Well, it seems both of us are prepared for this conversation. <laughs> I wanted to warn you that haste makes waste, but seeing you now, I realize... As you know the risk, so I want to hear your idea. It's simple. Transformation. Transformation? Transformation. That's easy to say, but... I've already written the necessary details in this proposal. Have a look. I don't think this is wise. Well, I shouldn't be reading confidential information. You and Grandpa are old family friends. Since I was small, I have learned so much from you. <sighs> All right, just give me some time to read through this. Proposal for corporate transformation. By the way, Sumon is also here. You haven't seen each other for some time. Why don't you go and have a chat? Okay, please take your time. Are you all right? Oh, why did you drink so much? Uh, oh my. Uh, uh. 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 Uh.
I'll get us something to eat. Mm, sure. Take care, okay? Yeah. You know, this is no place for you. Why is that? Well, aren't you a good student? What would the dorm supervisor say? And what time is it? We have classes tomorrow. But, sir, school hasn't started yet. <laughs> Where's my cell phone? Cell phone? Understand now. Oh, do you, huh? Hey, Tian Yu. I was wondering why I couldn't find you anywhere. Turns out you were here all along flirting with this cheap hey, girl. You're drunk, Suman. Don't talk like that. Why shouldn't I? Who is she anyway? Why are you flirting with her? Hey, that's enough. Go back to drink if you want. To. I don't Go. want to. Much better. Have you made up with your family? Mm hmm. Why did you come back earlier? Isha had things to do here, so I decided to come back with him. That's mm -hmm. all. You're so nice to him. Yangshang, when school starts, can we continue having dates in the library? Weyang, the library is a place where students study and do their research. If you want to come there and study with me, of course I can go with you. But don't get this wrong. You and I are not dating. What do you mean by that, Liang Shang? I just want to be clear so you wouldn't misunderstand and not waste time on me. Why? Do you have feelings for someone else? We better get back. Where did Zheng Sheng go? You said she was with him here when we left. Why is he alone now? Hey, Bei Sha Wu. Bei Sha Wu. Where's Zheng Sheng? Could she have gone? <laughs> I had no idea you would faint. <laughs> Thank you. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm sorry about what happened. I. Why are you apologizing? Thought... It was that girl who smashed the bottle. Suman is my childhood friend. She's usually quite... All right. Since she's your friend, I'm not going to blame you. How come, whenever we meet, some unfortunate or odd thing always happens? Right. From now on, I should stay away from you. The fate wants it. Hey, can I borrow your cell phone?
I guess that Bei Xiaoru is still drunk. <sighs> My brother must be worried about me. Apart from him, isn't there any other way for you to contact your brother? There's no one else. You know, places like that bar aren't good for you. Don't go there often. Actually, I don't go there often. I know that. You're a student of excellent character. You have no way of knowing that. If you say so, then I know nothing. You wouldn't want to keep my cell phone, right? <laughs> Come on, I'll drive you home. Well, you should. Brother, I'm sorry. I got you worried. Where have you been? I've looked for you everywhere. I got into some trouble. How did that happen? When you went out, there was this drunk girl who threw a bottle towards me. I had no idea why she did it. A piece of glass cut my cheek, so we had to see a doctor. That's why I was late. What did the doctor say? It was nothing serious. Next time, could you call me first and tell me where you're going? I'm sorry. I knew you'd be worried about me, so I tried calling Bei Xiaowu, but he wouldn't answer. I was worried too, you know. Did you get hurt anywhere else? Mm -mm. No. You'll meet Mr. Bai tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Now, he's a hard man to deal with. Twice now, he had turned down people we sent. They just couldn't convince him. I hope this time, you're better prepared for him. Don't worry. We were on good terms back in school, thanks. I reckon it wouldn't be that hard to get through to him. Although he was your schoolmate, and he knows you, he's still a businessman. And businessmen want huge profits. Now, he may have turned down several companies, but I found out that this company, in fact, doesn't have that good a standing, as Mr. Bai would like others to believe. High End Villa Development is his company's main business segment, and it's been doing well, steadily over the years. But if you compare with his other real estate companies, he's doing pretty well in vertical development, right? Transformation is a critical moment for a company. Many companies describe it as a moment of life or death. But his company doesn't have to choose transformation. Can't they just maintain the status quo? A fixed real estate pattern can no longer meet the customer's demands, not just for consumption, but also experience. Consumption upgrade is the general trend. If it didn't have the basic business acumen, he wouldn't have gotten where he is today. Plus, although Mr. Bai is a bit distant, I believe in his heart, he's still a sentimental man. Sentimentality is one reason why he only talks about cooperation, rather than selling his two properties. By sending a senior general to the field, it seems Shi Fang really means business. <laughs> we were schoolmates before, please don't tease me. If ever we reach an agreement, that depends on the willingness of both parties. Hmm. Anyway, I've read your company's proposal. The revenue of the last two years were about 10 billion yuan. But how can we be certain the market in the next three years will see double the growth? From our company's Studio City segment, We'll take TV and film as a base. To develop cultural, tourism, entertainment, and sports areas, which diversify real estate projects. But will your so-called upgrade eventually come back to improving real estate? Of course. The four areas mentioned will serve real estate in the end. So actually, for us, Mr. Bai's two properties we're interested in only have a few advantages. But then, we think those properties have the genes for consumption upgrade in the closure industry. But the thing I want to know is not included in your proposal. Why do you want to partner with my company? Given my company's current financial status, I can operate the whole scheme on my own. Why do I still have to partner with you? Due to off-center placement, the Springtown project developed by Mr. Bai was shut down for reconstruction a month ago. Previous mass capital investment put a strain on this company's finances. And although you're trying to withhold information, I guess nothing can be kept secret forever. That is why we believe Mr. Bai urgently needs another company to partner with him. And since Shifeng has a film and TV base, its entertainment consumption and industry upgrades 
would mean a lot of advantages to a project under construction like Springtown. Besides, our company is currently staffed with an outstanding team of overseas professionals for management planning, which I believe will be of great help to your company, making us the perfect partner. <laughs> I'm very impressed. You've done your homework indeed. But I still need time to think about future development. If Mr. Bai is willing to partner with us, we'll come up with an adjusted version of the development program based on the existing project, as well as the other properties program. And I am willing to up the stakes with a 10% investment to tide Mr. Bai over. Partnering with a Shifong group can only benefit your company immensely. We're sure of that. Actually, I don't have to spell that out because you would know better than I do. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been top of our class now, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, this coming weekend, I'll set things up to help you move forward faster. Oh, Nyangshin, Nyangshin. Back in university, I've already admired you. <laughs> but you never gave me a chance. Later, I wanted to poach you to work for me, but you still didn't give me a chance. Uh, I guess Chang Tianyu has better luck than me, indeed. <laughs> I'm very flattered. Let's Thanks. drink to that. I followed your plan, and we've successfully made a deal. <laughs> well done. I wouldn't have done it without the information you gave me. Most especially your advice. You really are a mind reader. It all went according to your playbook. Okay, thank you. Tomorrow, we'll discuss all the details. Mm, okay. I thought, since I was wanted by nobody, then what's the point of trying to have a good life? I swore to myself, I would give back to that woman. That's what she deserves. And then I met Bei Sha Wu, and he was the only one who cherished me. He never turned away from me. He had never taken advantage of me. I think that guy looks at me like I was an innocent little girl. Don't you think he's silly? Bei Shao, forget about the whole thing. And try your best to move on. I can't. If I think of her, my heart won't be that empty. If I don't keep her inside my heart, I don't have any idea what to do. And right now, I worry about her even more. I know that she must be feeling much worse than me now. I heard her tell Jiang Sheng that I was the only one who cherished her. That's why I really don't understand. Why she decided to leave me without a word. Perhaps only time will tell. When you will get an answer to questions like that. Coming, coming. Hello? Uh, answer this. Who's that? Who else could it be? The Wei Jiaping caller. Wei Jiaping? Yes, I meant the same guy who called you when we were in Wei Jiaping. Hello? You're here. Uncle, is...
isn't she? We owe you the last time. Hi there. I'm President Chung Tianyong's friend. I'm really sorry about what happened last time. It was my friend's birthday. I got drunk, and I acted horribly. Actually, since the moment you left, I felt guilty about the whole thing, so I'm here to personally apologize to you. Forgive me. It's okay. You didn't do it on purpose. N no, no, no. I'm really sorry. I should bow to you in forgiveness. Please forgive me. You don't have to, uh... So, do you think I did well back there? As long as you were sincere. Is there... something going on between the two of you? My driver will take you home. Hello? Tianan? Your brother forced me to apologize to some tram. I must say, you were kicked around big time, Miss Sue. I've never been treated like this since I was little. And now that you've apologized, I'm sure my brother will ignore you more. Who on earth is that darn girl? Well, she's gonna get it. She didn't look like this when I saw her on TV last time. The fans are so eagle-eyed nowadays. They still recognize her after the facelift. <laughs> Which female star doesn't do that nowadays? <laughs> Su Man? Su What's Man. wrong? Oh. Turns out she's a celebrity. Yeah, one of the biggest in this country. She was the one who smashed a bottle at me at the bar. She's one nasty woman. You've had an encounter with a superstar? Hmm. I can't believe that happened. This is just too surreal. <sighs> the most surreal thing you've experienced would be rubbing elbows with Chang Tianyo. He's a golden bachelor. What golden bachelor are you saying? Shh. Besides, there's nothing going on between us. I consider Mr. Cheng Tianyo a respectable uncle at best, but also an unlikable one. But why do I feel like he's not as bad as you say he is? How would you know? Of course, he's a big name. Who wouldn't know the man? But I think, with a man as famous as him, people are more bound to be prejudiced. <sighs> hmm. I do remember Xiaojo telling me that he's not the bad sort, although he's not the good sort either. What do you think? Me? I've never dealt with him. How would I know? You've been working so hard recently. You work as a barista in the day and a tutor in the evening? I don't know how you do it. Don't worry. I can handle it. I've been thinking of buying a cell phone. Maybe you can recommend a good one. Finally, you've seen the light. In this day and age, I think you two are the only ones without a cell phone. It's about time. You see, last time, when Zhang Sheng got injured, she was brought to the hospital, and I couldn't get in touch with her. I'm still scared at the thought of it now. Good thing it was a minor injury. What if things went terribly wrong back then? <sighs> then buy one. Check it out for me later. Sure, okay. I'm gonna find you a good one. Mr. Bai's scheme together with ours would enable us to develop a movie theater chain of a large scale in the next five years. Hmm. Our first step, which is also the most critical, has already been deployed. <sighs> in just a few years, our domestic box office receipts are bound to double. And a movie theater chain would benefit the most from it. <laughs> that is such great news. What about going to my bar to celebrate in advance? Sure, good idea. By the way, why is Zhang Sheng working part-time at your bar? 
Oh, a friend of mine introduced her to me. I thought she was smart and hardworking, so I decided to hire her as a cashier. I see. By the way, the trouble Suman caused at the bar was an isolated incident. Our regular patrons don't do that. I'm terribly sorry. Why are you apologizing? It wasn't your fault. Anyway, tell her legal counsel to draft the contract. Okay. No, wait. Um, ask Chunjira to do it. You deserve a break today. Ask Chunjira to come over, please. Back. Yep. What are you doing there, Bei Xiaowu? It appears he's turned a new leaf, working in the day and reading at night. Reading? Yep. Here you go. I made coffee for everyone. Drink up. Coffee? Here. Only you would make coffee in a bowl. Haven't you realized? Regular cafes in the city serve only in small, medium, and large cups. Now, the standards of my cafe are awake for one day, awake for two days. What you're drinking is called awake for three days. Later on, I can serve you coffee made for the homeless. Do you like it? Mm -mm. Is it good, it's very actually... good, or very, mm. very good? <laughs> I would say very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to comment and be honest. <laughs> okay, enjoy your coffee. Well, I'll go for a jog. Bye-bye. Mm. Bye. Zhang Shang, -bye. Bye. Hmm? I have tutoring later. Don't wait up, okay? Okay. Brother? Yes? Have you already forgotten that tomorrow's... Yeah, what is it? <laughs> Nothing. I'll go wash up. <sighs> what? You're still up? Yeah. I'm waiting for my brother, so I thought I'd read a book. I don't believe you. Do you have a grudge against books or something? Today's a holiday and your face is still buried in them. If you don't want to rest, then why don't you give those books a rest? Mm. I'm just grabbing the opportunity to do a bit more reading. I should buy you a juicer tomorrow. You can squeeze all the books into juice so you can drink it. Less ice train for you. <laughs> but I have to study hard. I'm trying to get a scholarship next semester. <sighs> well, that's good. Anyway, I guess I've been bitten by the reading bug, too. <laughs> so how's your new job? At the bar? Mm, pretty good. <sighs> It tests my computing skills. <laughs> I am indeed a professional recruiter who can discern which job suits you. The perfect job at a single glance. <laughs> anyway, the bar's boss, Nyang Xin, just happens to be the elder sister of the campus bell. And since she knows your classmates, I suppose she'll be nice to you. The important thing is that the patrons of the bar are posh people, almost at par with my own poshness. And since I'm one of your friends, no one will give you a hard time. <laughs> hey. So you're patting yourself on the back, huh? Aren't you a regular there? Oh, no. I've seen some of those who frequent that place. They don't have my fancy taste. I'll go take a shower. Finish up and go to bed early, huh? Okay. Brother? 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 I'm going to my part-time job. The apple and the yakult on the table are for you.
It doesn't matter. It's just a birthday. Since my brother is working so hard, I can't slack off either. Any plans for tonight? Why don't we go play some golf? It's been a long time. Why don't you go home and have dinner with Uncle Chun? What? I've made plans. Uh, sir. I've come to think about it. You look like my classmate years ago. Poker face, spaced out eyes, blank expression. Just like you. Go away! <laughs> You're distracting me here! I'm busy. No, I'm just kidding. You got injured because of me. I want to make it up to you. Let's have dinner tonight. Dinner tonight? Yeah. And why is that? It's my birthday. Your birthday? Yes. Today? Mm hmm What a coincidence! Today's my birthday as well! Oh, is it? Mm, let me see. They don't remember anyway. All right, I accept your invitation. Okay. Hmm? Wait till I get off work. <laughs> Zhang Shang, your brother had an accident. <gasps> Sing, 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 sing. 